brain injuries need to wind up with a lawyer who has the capability and the experience to understand the nature and extent of brain injuries and how they should be compensated. You need to know the science and art of diagnosing a brain injury and being able to explain and communicate that injury to a jury. For example, in a carbon monoxide poisoning case, nothing's going to show up on the brain to indicate that there's been a lifelong injury. What Patrick and I are able to do is bring to bear our experience, our expertise, and our connections with appropriate experts in the field of psychiatry, psychology, neurology, and get these patients the types of referrals that they can't do on their own and that we can do for them as part of the litigation process, which does not increase the cost of the litigation to them or require them to pay any money out of pocket. Because the brain is a very complex organ, a lawyer representing somebody with a brain injury needs to have the right experts, whether it be a neurosurgeon, a neurologist, or a neuropsychological testing expert, without that expertise assisting the lawyer, the lawyer isn't going to be able to do what he or she should do for the brain-injured client.